Next, let's go into logos. Logos refers to the logical content of communication, including the information being presented and the organizational structure of that information. And again, that definition might not help a ton, so let's break that down a little bit. Logos is the logical content of your argument. This might include the information you present, the connections you make between elements of your argument, and the logical conclusions you draw based on the information you present. The logical conclusions are the key here. With your support of whatever it is you're trying to persuade people to do, if your support doesn't end in a logical conclusion, if it doesn't make sense, then it's not logos. Okay? It's not logical. And once again, let's see how Calvin handles logos. You know, school wouldn't be so bad if you didn't have to go every day. Now, I know that most of you are agreeing right now, but let's take a look at his logical support for that. And if you didn't have to learn anything, and if you took away all the teachers and all the other kids, if it was completely different, school would be great. Is this logical? In a way it is, because if you didn't have to learn anything at school, if you didn't have teachers, if you didn't have homework, if you didn't have other people to deal with, school would be great. But then again, it kind of wouldn't be school anymore. A lot of things are like that, Hobbes says. Nobody asks me how things ought to be. I've got a ton of ideas. Now again, Calvin uses logos in this argument, but doesn't use it very well, because his conclusion is not logical. Okay. Now, logos in real life situations. You need to save money on your groceries. Go shopping alone. Have a budget and stick to it. Make fewer, larger trips. Don't shop hungry. Plan your meals in advance. Scan your cupboards, pantry, and fridge before leaving. Keep a running list of items you need on your fridge. Break your list down by store and plan your outing accordingly. With these shopping tips, you'll save up to 40% of your grocery bill. Now, the assertion is what they're trying to persuade you to do is to save money on your groceries. If you take a look at this, if you do all these things, the logical outcome is going to be you know, possibly saving up to 40% of your grocery bill. And it makes sense if you shop alone, if you have a budget and stick to it, fewer trips, don't shop hungry. All these things end in the logical conclusion of saving money on your grocery bill. Okay? And that's Logos.